In this screencast, we're going to look at the layout of Sapling Online Learning for Organic Chemistry 2 in the Spring 2016 semester. I'm the instructor of record, Matt Donahue, and basically we're going to take you through uh, the layout of Sapling and how it can be used to help you throughout this course. So on the left navigation bar here, we have activities and due dates and grades. So these are the, the two main resources you're going to use in this toolbar. In the main area here, we have different content headings. The first is syllabus and USM resources. So under here, you can have a, a download of the syllabus anytime you need it. There's access uh, through different web links to USM resources, the Student Success Center, Office of Disability Accommodations, Student Ombudsman Services, and finally a PDF of Classroom Responsibilities. Click on any of these links and it will either download the PDF for you or launch a new window. So here's an introduction to Sapling. By now, taking Gen Chem and Organic 1, you should be familiar with Sapling and these are different training videos and assignments to help you with uh, basically uh, doing the problems. One thing to point out on the right hand toolbar here is the calendar. So if you can look at the key here, anytime there is a, a salmon colored box around the date, that means there's a due date for an assignment. So just scroll through that and um, that will give you reminders of when things are due. So in content area three are external links to screencasts that I've made in uh, my YouTube or OCHEM website. So click on these, it'll launch a new window and, and take you to that screencast. So some of these are review uh, that you may want to check out from Organic Chemistry 1. And moving down into the main part of the um, window here, we, we get into the uh, homework assignments. So we have homework set 1 practice. And under here, the first three are actual sapling practice sets. The next two links are PowerPoint presentations from your book and additional screencasts that are relevant to this uh, module that we're going to study. So content area five is actually homework set one. So these are the graded homework sets that you'll have to do for uh, points in the course. There are 10 homework sets, each with 10 questions, each worth 10 points. So overall, the homework is worth 100 points in the course. So click on these, that'll launch um, you into the actual homework set. So we get into module two, you have practice materials and the actual homework set two. Homework practice set three, homework set three. Homework practice set four, homework set four, and that's eight, nine, and 10, the remaining problem sets for the semester. Additionally, there will be four quizzes administered through Sapling. The quizzes are worth 25 points apiece. Finally, exam bonus opportunities. So after each exam, a bonus opportunity will open. These are worth 25 points apiece as well. Finally, there's a final exam practice. So this is a very large problem set. Um, it, it's there for you to practice organic chemistry one and two material. This is not graded. And then in content area 15, we have supplementary materials that I've provided for you. Uh, probably have noticed this Excel score tracker here. You'll want to click that open and, and input the grades that you earned throughout the course to keep track of how you're doing. And lastly, there's um, Wiley Solomon's organic supplementary material from your book. Uh, these are review problems, that's one and two. So that's the layout of the main window. If we go to grades, we're actually going to use Sapling to keep track of your grades throughout the semester. So as you take an exam, this will be populated. And as you finish the homeworks, Sapling will calculate that and put it in there automatically. The same with the quizzes and exam bonus opportunities. So overall, the, the, the course is worth 800 points and you have 100 bonus point opportunities. So these are, are made to uh, boost up your exam scores. So this has been a tutorial screencast on how to use sapling for the spring 2016 semester in organic chemistry too.